Ah, finally, back in the outside world. <laughs> Hello everyone, Dreeks here, and welcome back to Donkey Kong 64. Last time we were able to finish off Fungi Forest, at least um, as far as we could finish it off. There was one golden banana we were forced to skip, but that one we will find later, once we get another move in World 6. Speaking of World 6... We're going to find that one in this episode. But before we go there, there's first a couple of other things we need to get in the overworld, of course. In this one, we were already able to obtain before we went into World 5, to be honest. But uh, I simply forgot. But that does not matter. We can still pick it up now. Chunky's uh, gate banana, you might say. <laughs> Each Kong actually has a gate banana. Chunky as well. quickly taken care of in this episode. Alright, my next thing on the agenda is to actually um, get one of the battle crowns in uh, DK Isles. I'm gonna need to start training for that first because I can't even beat the normal beaver. <laughs> and for that we need to go to Snipes HQ here in the overworld. I think I'll just fall off uh, K. Rules Island to get there quickly. The warpath near Frantic Factory is a good place to start with. But then the port number four. And then just fall down from there. Uh, somewhere around here, I think. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Use these vines. And get yourself to this room over here. This is where Snide is in the overworld. However, while doing research, I found out that it's not the only thing that is here. There's also a battle arena over here. And that one is for Chunky, because there's a large rock on top of it. That's the second thing we're going to do in this episode. <laughs> Time for... Bish Bash Brawl! Skeleton, critters, regular critters and... Cusplats! It's apparently what we're facing today. Oh! Been ambushed a bit. Come on, Chunky! Get out of there! The Cusplat is definitely the most annoying enemy, of course. Luckily, there's only one. Nope. <laughs> yeah, if you attack the skeleton critters normally, you will uh, first knock their heads off. And the rest of the body can still attack you, so you need to be careful for that. If you attack them powerfully enough with a dash attack or something, only then they will immediately die in one hit. Otherwise, they will still continue fighting. <laughs> Ten more seconds. We've got this. And that was it. Thank you. Another crown obtained. Uh, next we're gonna go to the Gloomy Galleon lobby. For that we need to... Pick Tiny, I think. Let's go check quickly. Uh, no, it's not Tiny, it's Chunky. What am I thinking? It is indeed going to be Tiny's banana, but it is going to be Chunky that needs to hit the switch first. This is the one I actually talked about during the previous stage. In the Gloomy Galleon lobby we found a Chunky switch at some point. But that one required the level 2 Simeon Slam. The Super Simeon Slam, and that we are going to get next. We saw a Tiny Barrel floating up uh, higher in the room. That one is also going to be related. Get in here. And finally hit that first blue switch that we found in the game. <laughs> this one was the first one we actually saw in the game. And this is what it will do. Open up this gate over here. And yeah, you've seen it correctly. That is indeed a tiny gate. Mini monkey required. So it's pretty clear what we need to do. Tiny barrel and of course... Attack barrel first, because now we need to bring out Tiny. Now it's your turn. First pick up the Tiny barrel that's floating above the water over here. Let you do your thing. <laughs> Stay away from me. Okay, jump from here. There's no way to miss it. I 
always have the feeling that swimming goes really slow whenever you're mini monkey. <laughs> it probably does, because you are tinier, of course, so. But anyway, this is what we're here for. Golden banana number four for Tiny Kong. In the overworld. Still one more to find. That one we're not going to find for a while. But at least we're getting places with her. We're not talking about golden bananas for Tiny until we reach the World 7 lobby. Man, it's going to take a while. But anyway, um, there's one other one we need to do, I think. Um, let's return to Snites. We need to still get Diddy's banana in the bonus barrel over there. I'll see you folks there. Should have picked that one up immediately, but um, yeah, my notes are a mess, like I promised before. <laughs> yeah, this is the one we need. Diddy, now it's your turn. There's going to be a bonus barrel up here, obviously. And for that, we need to play. Welcome to bonus day. Slot machine. Okay. And that is one of the easier ones to do. This one's not going to be a problem. Let's get started. Nope. <laughs> that one I rushed a bit uh, too much. I tried to go for a speed run there, but um, that backfired on me. Oh, dang it. not take any risks here. Sometimes taking it slowly and surely is a better solution than doing it fast. And bam! Well <laughs> Last second, hell yeah! <laughs> the best way to win a mini game like this. And we don't have to jump, it will automatically go down to us. Number 3 for Diddy Kong, 139 in total. Next, we are going to open up World 6, finally. It would be nice if we can also uh, finally pick up the golden banana in uh, K. Lumsey's room. But that requires the same move as the one that we actually uh, need in Fungi Forest for Lenky's final banana. <laughs> so that we're also still not picking up yet. We are going to find out where World 6 is going to be located. And what that is going to be. So, okay, let me see. We have another key for you. Here is number five. Only three locks remain. And number six, we are going to find in this world. In DK's ear. A new cave will open up. And that is not all. Also, the giant rock behind K. Lumsey's Island will open up. World 6 and 7. Both just opened up. <laughs> awesome, right? Oh, and I see one of the keys actually did not turn yet. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that was for World 3, apparently. <laughs> yeah, we did turn in two of them at once when they uh, actually get a separate cutscene. Not that it matters. Only once all eight of them are turned in, only then you can uh, fully open up the cage. So. But it was fun to notice. <laughs> Let's go towards World 6, at least. No need to actually check out World 7 quite yet, even though there is a couple of things we can do in the lobby over there. I feel like it's more appropriate to... Um, first go to World 6 fully, before we even go to the lobby of World 7. Even though that one is already accessible as well. But for us, this is going to be our next destination. The Crystal Caves lobby actually has uh, plenty of stuff to do for us. Most of the stuff is actually related to finding the Wrinkly Kong uh, advice uh, rooms. <laughs> but there's also still plenty of things we are going to do. For that we need to go back here. Yeah, the lobby and also in Crystal Caves itself we can find out these ice walls can actually be broken by Chunky's Primate Punch. So. Let's go bring him out first. 
this is how we handle these kind of walls. What is behind here is for Lenky. Let's also open up the second one. Smack. Yeah, don't mind the switch over here. That one's just going to be for Wrinkly. And Wrinkly, we are not interested in in this game. <laughs> you can actually get yourself a rock somewhere that you can put on the switch. In fact, that one's over here. But that we are not interested in. We are here for Pusplet Blueprint Blue. And therefore, Lenky's Blueprint. But like I said, you can find a rock in this room as well. You can bring Chunky... And he will be able to um, put that rock on the switch, which will open up one of the doors to Wrinkly. Since it's so much of an effort to open up that room, I think it's going to be uh, a pretty well-hidden banana that she talks about. <laughs> but we are not interested in that, aren't we? Next up, we want to go to the higher areas of this place. Rocket barrels should be somewhere around here. fly all the way to the top of the lobby and we should find a platform yeah right over there we can play the guitar that's going to bring down squawks again i think yeah indeed <laughs> he has found another golden banana for us and apparently it's necessary to drop it all the way down there <laughs> And not just give it to us immediately. See these blocks. 140. And is that all? No, that's still not all. <laughs> Donkey Kong can also get the golden banana in here. You might have seen the invincibility barrel already. Right besides the rock. There's a golden banana in the lava in the next room. And for that we need invincible Kong. And if we can pick up right over here. And the reason why I'm picking up Donkey Kong's banana last because we are going to enter Crystal Caves with Donkey Kong, of course, so... <laughs> we can immediately get started with the first Kong, you might say. Bye, Wrinkly. <laughs> you are not worth it. You are worth it. Golden banana number four for Donkey Kong as well. This Kusplet is going to be in the... Not 7 or 8 lobby, I think. I'm not too sure which one it was anymore. <laughs> Both of them actually have a split, so... That one we're not picking up quite yet. But Donkey Kong is done with his regular golden bananas in the overworld at least. And now we can get started with world number 6. Only 65. Man, we've got more than double. <laughs> Cutscene time. Those stubborn apes don't know when they're beat. But even they will have to admit defeat. After they've tangled with my fiery little pet. Nothing can stop me now. Their island is doomed. Ah, there you are. I trust the Kongs have been dealt with. That was awful, Master! <laughs> Those horrible cogs threw nasty barrels at me that went bang! Knocked me into the lava, they did! And I've singed both my wings! Then one of them got really big and punched me in the face! Look at my poor old nose! I want to go and lie down now, I'm not feeling all that well! <laughs> and k doesn't even say anything back! <laughs> That's the most funny thing here! But anyway, we are in Crystal Caves! What most people consider the most annoying stages of all. And for me, the layering problem is going to make this one extra annoying. But the plus side is, this stage is normally always uh, very dark. So the layer problem shouldn't uh, get noticed too much in this stage. You usually can't see uh, past a certain point anyway because of the darkened effects in here. <laughs> but we'll see uh, how worse it gets. But anyway, it's going to start uh, sounding like... Uh, a broken record now because it's pretty much always the same in every single world but we are yet again first going to find dk's barrel course <laughs> it's going to be near cranky's oh wait where's this of course this is the main gimmick of crystal cave there's a very large kremlin 
all the way at the top of the stage and that one is going to knock his club every once in a while on the stage and that will actually create some sort of earthquake that will make stuff fall down from the ceiling yes it will hurt you the moment it lands on your head <laughs> that's really annoying in fact on the stage only once you defeat that guy it will actually run out but um, with the way I've actually planned on doing this stage that's not going to be for a while so keep that guy in mind he's going to be very annoying but in the meantime we've reached DK's pad the thing I'm always after first so let's go start doing another barrel blasting course and be careful this one has split pathways again as you can see just follow the trail of bananas and you should be fine because I'm pretty sure you won't be able to miss anything the moment you just go for the banana punches there's your coin indicating when to shoot banana bunch oh, let's go here shoot for the ring like always if you see another situation where you can't see a barrel to shoot directly just look for a ring a banana bunch or a banana coin and shoot towards that that's how it works this is also a really long one in all honesty <laughs> Eventually, it will end in a bonus barrel yet again. Still going. And here is the bonus barrel. <laughs> We've reached the end. And this is going to be the shooting minigame again, I think. Yeah, Welcome indeed. Busy day. barrel barrage. And this time, Donkey Kong is allowed to play. And just like always, I immediately fail. I'm pretty sure that happened every single time so far. <laughs> Welcome to bonus stage. Yeah, once again, the first shot is the most difficult one. Oh, interesting! Even here in the bonus, we use the homing ammo. <laughs> and that's actually not infinite. See, now the homing ammo runs out, and only then we uh, get our infinite ammo. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, somewhere deep down, I actually knew that, but I uh, kind of forgot about that. I didn't notice that before. Interesting uh, little thing. The game actually forces you to uh, shoot your homing ammo first, and only once that actually runs out, you can actually uh, shoot your normal ammo again. But it even works like that in bonuses. <laughs> you would expect them to actually overlap that, but uh, no, apparently not. Oh. Yeah, nothing really to say about this. This one uh, we've seen twice already. Well done. Once you get the first couple of seconds down, the rest is relatively easy. Nothing too spectacular here. We fall down, of course. Once we reach the bottom, the first golden banana joins us. Crystal Caves has begun. Next we want to go in this little room over here, but as you can see, there's a sheet of ice over there. And we learned in the lobby for Crystal Caves, we need Chunky's raw strength in order to open that up for us. Quick little switch. Just to make sure that Donkey Kong can fully complete the stage already. <laughs> Even though we're still not going to fully complete the stage, there's still a couple of other things we need to skip out with him before we can fully finish him off. That's going to be pretty bad in this stage. It's not only going to apply to Donkey Kong, by the way, so... <laughs> this stage is definitely going to get uh, a tad complicated. But that's not a surprise. We're pretty far in the game, after all, so... The time for easy routes is over. Something you don't have to expect in uh, World 6 and 7 anymore. Once this room is opened up, which is uh, a simple thing to do, we can quickly grab a couple of things in here. There's also a lot of things for Chunky in here, as you can see, but um, this rock we need to pick up later is currently blocked. It's not going to be for a while until we open that one up. We can, of course, get the balloon in here and the coins that are in here. Yeah, 
and that should be everything for now. The rest in here is for Chunky, but he can't even do that yet, even if he wanted to. <laughs> but first we're going to finish off Donkey Kong, of course, before continuing with another Kong. Next we want to um, swim further into the cave. Not towards the beginning, but actually uh, further into the cave. And there we can actually meet up with the igloo area, like I always call it. There's a split on the top of the igloo, but that one is not for DK, so that's what we can ignore for now. We are going to get all of the bananas surrounding this place. We need to hit the switch before we're able to actually open up the igloo. But for now, we are here to activate the banana ports for easy access to return here later. Banana port 1 and 3 are actually in this area, as you can clearly see. And that easy access is all we can do for now, so let's return back to the beginning. Now we're going to check out the other side of this stage. We need to open up another sheet of ice. So let's bring out Chunky quickly. And turn to the beginning. Because here's another one. Go away. Did not ask for your assistance. <laughs> Pick up the bananas quickly, because might as well. And return to Donkey Kong. Because it's pretty obvious there's something for him to get in here. The golden banana in here is for Chunky, but Donkey Kong can also still go in here because there's a balloon for him in here. So let's go pick it up. And looking at my time, I think that's going to be the final thing we're going to do today. Oh, really? <laughs> there we still go. Alright, well, that was another episode for Donkey Kong 64. Thank you all for watching. We have begun with Crystal Caves, a very tedious, yet also challenging stage. Donkey Kong has barely begun, only has one golden banana. Next episode is going to be my attempt in order to finish off at least Donkey Kong here in World 6. Thank you all for watching, and see you folks in part 30. Treeks out. Watch for falling rocks. 